these are, and this is a people who are victims of the post coup version. And you see all these people were in the Grand Coalition. They were all in the Grand Coalition. So just as Erdogan has marginalized everybody else that started AKP, they're all gone. Gul was the last one. They're all gone. He's also now marginalized everybody in the coalition except for his group. And the Kurds, one of the things that was going on that the European Union got Turkey to commit to, and Turkey did, was to begin a peace process with the Kurds. And Erdogan ended it. Right? Not only did he end it, but imagine this. He has now arrested 11 of the, parliamentar of the parliamentarians, members of parliament, from the HDP party. The HDP party is the Kurdish party. The idea of, of negotiating peace was to bring people into the system. And you bring people into the system, they let them have to be part of the system. And so the opening was HDP, the Kurdish folks, developed their own party. And it was the most progressive political party in Turkey. I mean, it's the closest thing, thing you're going to find to a populist party in Turkey. They have co leaders. Always a man and always a woman. Co leaders. Pretty astonishing for Turkish society. But it's very progressive. And so when there were parliamentary elections after Erdogan became president, HDP got 80 members of parliament elected. And that must have been utterly stunning to Erdogan that here you had a popular, progressive, party. And the leaders are very dynamic. Very dynamic. Of course, they're now in jail because they're terrorists. But how do you, how do you just decide that members of parliament are terrorists and suspend their immunity and arrest them? I mean, how do, we, how do you do that in a democracy? The majority says, well, you're a terrorist, we're going to suspend your immunity and throw you in jail. That's not a democracy. So, in the Levis, as I mentioned, that's another persecuted religious group. It's a brand of uh, Islam or a mixture of Islam and indigenous practice, always subject to uh, persecution. It's back. Uh, separation of church and state or mosque and state. Uh, Erdogan has now taken over Hagia Sophia, which was supposed to be a secular uh, monument, right? It was once a Christian church. Mm -hmm. Now we have. I think, if I'm not wrong, mistaken, prayers there, four times a, a day. And, and of course, no journalists, I mean, that's gone. Academically talked about, 